guys! So last week, I kept thinking, what should I post next after my travel vlog? Since the last travel vlog is the wedding of my cousin, which I've been waiting for for like a year. Since it's a new month now, what about doing monthly favorites? Since I don't even remember when was the last time I made my monthly favorites. But anyway, I loved making them and I loved showing you what I loved in that month. So I'm gonna do it again. Let's get on with it. Um, so my first monthly favorite is I'm currently having my on-the-job training or my practicum in a deaf and hard of hearing school. And I'm really happy about it because I've been wanting to learn how to sign for like ever since Switch That Birth came out. If you don't know what Switch That Birth is, it's a TV show focusing on deaf and deaf culture or like social differences. And it's self-explanatory, to be honest. Two girls or two people were switched at birth and the story follows what happens to their families. So it's a really good show, I love it. And it's currently, I think, season five right now. I love it, so go watch it, it's awesome. Now that I'm in a deaf and hard of hearing school, they're teaching me how to sign. It's not A-S-L, it's S-E-E, -E, which stands for Signing Exact English. So basically like affixes and suffixes and prefixes and all that other stuff so that when I'm teaching English or when I'm teaching reading or language, which is what I want to teach, like it's a complete sentence kind of thing. It's not like ASL where it has shortcuts. Basically in ASL, how you introduce yourself or how you ask a person for their name is like name you. But in SEE, -E, you actually ask the whole question, like how you ask it from a hearing person. <laughs> um, basically so here is how it goes. What is your name and then you can add the question mark or they don't add that anymore but yeah that's basically it i really love how the students interact with each other and how the students interact with you and how they're so nice they're so nice they're, they have this like homey family vibe going on and i just love it and i feel like i'm getting convinced to teach in that particular school because of the environment and because these kids are just I just I don't even know how to describe my love for them but I love them already and I've only been staying in that school for about three weeks now and I just oh my god they're just so the second thing that I've been loving in the month of August is Spotify so I finally got a Spotify account last month I think the concept of it and the manner of how you find new artists and playlists and all that stuff is really cool because I've been loving indie music lately and it's hard to explain how I, I found my love for it, but through Spotify, it helped me grow that love and I just thank you, Spotify makers and developers and all that kind of stuff. The only downside to Spotify is you have to get the premium account to access what it fully is, but since, you know, I don't got that kind of money, <laughs> I have to bear with the advertisements and I have to bear with having Wi-Fi all the time to access it. Okay, so the third thing is I recently have this new kind of passion to learn how to play the piano. And my mom kind of caught up on this because she wants me to take professional piano lessons. But I'm kind of, I feel mm, sketchy about it because I possibly and have a huge interest now to teach deaf and hard of hearing kids so if I tire my hands too much learning two things that involve my hands I feel like it may affect my hands in the future in a grave way so I don't want to push it but I really want to learn so the fourth thing has to do with a bunch of TV series so the first thing is I started watching Jane the Virgin I watched the whole season one and I don't know why I also did not watch it when it came out I think it's because a lot of new shows and a lot of shows that I already loved came out the same time it came out so it was kind of like less of a priority for me to watch it even though my siblings my little sister Ellie she so loves it. Like, I think she loves it the same way I love them, The Vampire Diaries. I really like the series and um, if you kind of, if you like telenovelas, that's it. You are so old. <laughs> so, the, uh, another TV series that I've been watching, it didn't come out in August, but the finale ended in August. Well, the mid-season finale, if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's Teen Wolf and oh my god. God, I'm basically dying. Um, that ending, I can't. Let's move on. Okay, another mid-season finale, or I don't know if it's the finale or mid 
season. I don't know. It's The Fosters and it's by ABC Family and uh, <laughs> I mean why? <laughs> I don't want to spoil you guys because you may be watching the show or even if you're not watching, I, I'm just, I'm not a spoiler kind of person. So. <sighs> but oh my god, why? Why? Just both of those shows, Teen Wolf and The Fosters. Why and why also is the coming next the next coming episode so long? Teen Wolf season five B is like next year, and I'm just like what? And the posters is like I don't know when it's coming out, but why? And I can't really talk about it to anybody because nobody in my family. Well, my little sister watches Teen Wolf, but she doesn't want to watch it. You know, like like how I feel with Jane the Virgin. She, it's not one of her priority TV shows to watch, so she doesn't want to watch it yet, but she has feels about the show like me, but my feels are a little bit more extreme than that. <laughs> but anyway, and nobody watches The Fosters. Like, I don't know anyone in my life that watches The Fosters. Come on, people. I need to express my emotions to you. So if you ever want to know how I feel about it or something, maybe I can make a separate video. I swear to God, I don't have anyone to talk to about it with. So please let me know because I really want to share my feelings. Okay, so the last one, the fourth one, fifth one? I don't even remember which number we are in. Anyway, so the last one is a movie. And I think you are gonna guess what I'm gonna say. It's from Disney, it's from Pixar, it's Inside Out, and it's amazing! And I'm sorry for those who love Big Hero 6 and Frozen, but it's better than Big Hero 6 and Frozen combined or separately. I, that's just my opinion, please don't hate me for that. But yeah, um, cried three times. Just giving that out there that you will cry. <laughs> but it's it's such a cool concept and it's such a sweet story and it just gave me all the feels in the world. It kind of just goes through you like that and it's just oh my god and it just um, Disney, you you are my childhood and you just provided me the best memories of my childhood so thank you for making this movie and also pixar you provided me with a lot of my childhood as well and i love it that you guys have a partnership okay that you guys are like having a bromance or a shipping or canon or whatever you are i just i just love you both equally ah just uh feelings feelings all the feelings in the world in august and i just more feelings to come, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, look at me. I just sh shrunk into myself because of all the feelings I had for this video. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll list some of the songs that I love at near the end of this video so that, so that you know or so that you would like to hear my musical preferences. Or you could just go to my Spotify account. Yeah, get that in <laughs> there. Okay, so this fun-filled August faves is just, yay, I just, oh, feels, uh, just, why did I ever stop this? I love this. I love this. Okay, did you love it? Because I love this, and I hope you love it. If you didn't love it, then, um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're new to this channel, hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Marga. I have so many feelings. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, so, please subscribe to me if you want to follow my journey or if you just enjoy this these videos that I make randomly out of nowhere in the sprung of my brain. Yeah, okay. And if you ever want to learn sign language, maybe I could teach you since I'm going to be an official teacher in the coming months. So, yay. Um, just let me know any of your thoughts, your comments, whatever, in the comments box and I will make sure to reply to you as much as I can. <laughs> so yeah, um, I really enjoyed making this. I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope you have a beautiful, fantabulous day. So I'll see you in my next video. Stay hot up, smile always, and spread love. Love you guys. Bye!